This is why I never wear my hair curly. I already know that I'm gonna regret not doing my hair for this first part of the video, but it's okay. What is up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is gonna be a first impression on a foundation. I haven't done a first impression video. I can't even remember the last time when I did one, but you guys have been requesting me to do more and I did get a request to do a first impression on this baby right here, the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Now I've got to start off by saying that I haven't tried the previous version of this. I do know that this is like an updated, upgraded version of the previous Superstay. Um, I haven't tried it, so I can't really be the one to compare the two for you guys. But regardless, I did want to do a first impression for you guys. So if you want to see what my thoughts and opinions are on this baby right here, keep on watching. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew so you don't miss any more videos that I post. And with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so first things first, the packaging. As you can see, it comes in a pretty standard 30 mil glass bottle and it comes with a pump. As soon as I see a foundation it has a pump, homeboys can I like get it. I don't know what it is, but I just gravitate towards foundations that have pumps. Like I feel like they're so much more easier when it comes to application and whatnot. So the color that I chose for myself is 34 Soft Bronze. I don't know if it's gonna match me. Fingers crossed that it does. It was probably the closest match that I could find. I typically don't really go for Maybelline foundations personally because I feel like the undertones of them don't really match my skin tone that well. I have a really like light olive golden undertone and a lot of them are very pink or gray or just too warm for my skin personally. But fingers crossed this one is gonna match today. So I'm just gonna give it a shake. Apologies if it looks like I'm sweating. It's because I am. It's really hot in this room Especially with all these lights like Before I go ahead and apply this foundation to my face I'm just gonna quickly read to you guys what the claims are for it So it says that it is a high pigment long wear full coverage foundation that corrects visible flaws to transform skin It says that it'll give you a matte finish with a flawless base for up to 24 hours Now I personally will not be wearing this foundation for anywhere close to that time Probably like eight to 10 hours is what I'll try to go for today. And I will give you guys updates throughout. But I mean, like all that sounds pretty good to me. 24 hours, like that's a pretty big claim. So we'll see how it goes for the amount of time that I wear it for. But I'm just gonna go ahead and take a pump. Oh, that came out pretty easy. It ain't bad. Now I haven't applied any primer to my face, but I think I might just go on Half of it with primer, so I'm just gonna use my standard daily primer that I use at the moment, the Anoxa Pure Silk Skin Primer. Now for me personally, I'm the type of person that will always wear a primer with a foundation no matter what, but I have been told by you guys that you do like to see how it works without a primer. So I'm just gonna go half-half just to give you guys a little insight in how it works with a primer and without. So now that I have the primer on, I'm just gonna go ahead and take whatever is on my hand and dot it onto my face. And I have two different applicators here. I have a brush. This is the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki. This was like my ride or die back in the day. And I also have the standard Beauty Blender. This is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna try out this first, see how it goes. This foundation is a little thicker, so I feel like maybe a brush would be better for it, but we'll see how it goes with the Beauty Blender first. Oh my goodness, that coverage though. That was like instant, okay. Wow, that's like insane how quickly it covered everything up. Also, another thing to note is that this foundation doesn't have any scent at all. I know like sometimes certain foundations can have a really overbearing scent, but this literally smells like nothing. So that's one thin layer with the Beauty Blender. Damn. That looks pretty good. I could definitely go in with another layer to build it up, but I mean for one one layer of foundation, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna go in with a little more. I still have some left on my hand, so I'm just gonna take that and just apply it to the cheeks again. That's actually really nice. I really like the finish that it's giving me as well. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it's like, I don't know, it's like matte 
but not like suck the life out of your face matte. It's like just a soft matte, you know? All right, so I'm just gonna take another pump to the back of my hand and um, dot that onto the other side of my face. Man, my hair is like looking like a bird's nest over here. But that's okay. All right, now we're gonna test out the brush. So this is just a synthetic flat top kabuki brush. Let's see how this goes. Oh, damn. That spreads out like crazy. That's a good thing though. That coverage though, like, okay. It actually ain't too bad with the brush. Like, coverage wise, it looks pretty, pretty much the same to me. I do feel like maybe you're able to build up a little more coverage on the um, beauty blender side, but still like it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna go in with a little more to that side, to the areas where I feel I need it. I'm just going back in with the beauty blender just to like, you know, run over some areas, make sure everything is like, Nice and blended, but I don't know about you guys, but that looks pretty good to me. The color match, like for me personally, I feel like it is a little, I don't know, like it's a little bit pink for me. Um, on camera, like it looks a lot worse than it does in person. Like I'm looking at myself in the mirror and it looks pretty decent in person, but on camera it's like, so I pretty much used two pumps for my entire face and I still have well, like more like one and a half because I still have so much left on the back of my hand. Um, I'm just gonna, I don't know, go back in, put whatever is left onto the areas where I just like to have a lot more coverage. We're going full coverage today because it did say that it would give full coverage. And I'd have to say like, yes, it does give you full coverage. Even with one pump, like it was fine. The coverage was enough. But if you like full, full, full coverage, like if you wanna, be so extra with the coverage, then you can definitely achieve that with this foundation. Um, in terms of the applicator, I probably do prefer the sponge just because I feel like, I don't know, you can get more coverage out of it that way. Like the brush is good as well because it really does help to disperse the product and it spreads out really easily with a brush. But I just feel like with a sponge, it kind of like applies it, gives you good coverage and also like makes it look not cakey. So that's probably why I do prefer the sponge when it comes to applying the foundation. But damn, like full coverage. They said it would be full coverage and it's definitely full coverage. So at this point, I'm just gonna go and finish off the rest of my face and then I'll come back to give you guys an update on how everything applied over top. I won't be setting my face with a powder. Usually I would, you guys know, cause I'm like, oily skin girl over here. Um, but I'm not gonna do that today, just so we can kind of see how the foundation lasts without any type of setting powder. I also need to fix my hair because I'm sweating and my hair just doesn't look cute right now. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be back. <sighs> I swear, the struggles of having naturally frizzy hair just, I'm not having a good hair day today. But I'm back, I finished applying the rest of my makeup as you guys can see and I'm in love, like the way that my makeup applied over top and I did not even set the foundation with any type of powder, like, mm, mm-hmm. So now that I have the rest of my makeup on, I can see that the color match isn't too bad. It probably is like as good as it's gonna get with a foundation. I mean, you can't expect a foundation to be 100% spot on to your color. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's hot today. I'm about to go out and run some errands, do all that kind of thing. So that'll really put the foundation to the test. I also really love the finish that it's giving me right now. Just wanna throw that in there that yes, I'm really liking the finish. So I'm gonna go on with my day. It's currently 2.30 in the afternoon. I probably started this a little later than I should have. Um, but yeah, I am going to go out, do what I gotta do, and then I'll be back in a few hours to give you guys an update. Alrighty guys, my early self is back for an update. This is actually gonna be my only update and my last update of the day, because unfortunately I was out of the house all day today, so I wasn't able to come back and give you guys like a midway update. So this is pretty much it. It's the end of the day for me. It's currently 11 p.m. So I've been wearing the foundation for nearly nine hours now, which is pretty standard for a foundation. Like I wouldn't really expect it to last too much longer than that. As you can see, the foundation has stayed put. It's still all on my face, obviously. Um, but I have found that, yeah, my face, 
She's looking pretty oily right now. I feel like in person it doesn't look as bad as it does look on camera though. Of course with like my lighting setup and whatnot, it does look pretty intense. Um, but just like looking in the mirror right in front of me, it, it honestly like, it don't look too bad. But on camera, it's just like, whoa, okay. So as I'm looking at it close up, it definitely is like, it's oily. Like it's all still on my face, but it's oily. Um, as far as creasing goes, there is a little bit, but it's nothing too crazy. Like it hasn't really settled too much into my fine lines and whatnot. Like it, it's creased, but it's not too much to worry about, if that makes sense. It's pretty much just done what like every other foundation of mine would do. Um, I'm just gonna quickly dab with my beauty blender just to kind of you know see if that helps a little soaks up the extra oils and whatnot i feel like if you did touch this up with some kind of powder or like blotting sheets whatever you want to do um that could definitely help the case if you do have like oily skin like i do and as far as the primed side and non-primed side because if you guys remember i did prime this out of my face um yeah there isn't much of a difference to be honest like they're looking Pretty much the same don't mind this i just scratched my chest and it's like getting more red but yes that is the update for the foundation also um i have noticed like i don't know if it's just me or if i'm being super picky with this but it has oxidized a little like if you can notice my face does look a little bit darker especially because i do like to brighten up the certain areas of my face that I like to highlight. Like it just looks so dark here because it's oxidized with my oils throughout the day. But yes, I do like the foundation. Like my final verdict is that I do like the foundation and I will definitely continue to use it. But I'm gonna have to give it some time, continue to test it out with like different application methods and setting it with a powder, all that good stuff before I really give you guys an opinion on how I feel about it. But for first impressions, like I do like it. And if you are wanting to try it, it's definitely one to try because it has lasted pretty well throughout the day. Um, yeah, it's just because I have super oily skin naturally. I wasn't expecting this to stay completely matte the entire day. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Those were my first impressions on the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. If you have tried the foundation yourself, I want you to comment down below and let me know your thoughts and opinions and what your experiences have been with it because we can all help each other out in that aspect. And if you guys do have any other requests for products that you'd like me to do first impressions on, leave me a comment down below because I'm definitely open to trying more things and letting you guys know what I think about them. Anyways, guys, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you are not yet subscribed, don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button down below before you go so you don't miss any more videos that I post. With all that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I'll chat to you guys down in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Stay glowy.